My sponsor, Instant Mud Coins, is currently running a holiday special. You guys can use code ZERK30 for 30% off or free 40 for 40% extra coins off your order. Links in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Search coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I want to go over a lineup update and also kind of how I've changed around the abilities on my team. Now if you guys didn't see my video from this morning, the ability cap is actually now to 12 points. So things have changed around, there's new abilities in the game, abilities have uh, gotten different values now so like Acrobat on safeties is now 2 AP, and some other things on offense, things got reduced, things got increased, so I had to make some changes, and a lot of you guys have been asking me to do a lineup update video recently, and also now, especially today, you guys want to see what I did with my ability, so I'm going to go over that. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Stitch for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys have a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid, make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn the notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. Also, if you guys want to for a $20 giveaway, which I will be drawing a winner for tonight for a gift card, all you guys got to do, drop a like in the vid, make sure you sub the channel, comment down below Hot Cocoa, and leave a way to contact you. I prefer Twitter or Instagram, and tonight I'll draw a winner for an Xbox or PlayStation gift card. I'll tweet it out tonight, so follow me over on Twitter, I'll reach out to the winner. But let's go ahead and get into the team. So as you guys can see, this is the offense. So real quick, I'll run down just the players we have, then I'll go over the abilities. So in terms of just the players that we have, you guys see we have Rich Gannon, the quarterback. I did decide to stick Rich Gannon over Michael Vick. I just prefer having Rich Gannon because the abilities that he gets, having that Howard Master saves me a ton of AP on offense. You don't have to use, you know, Backfield Master, Slot Apprentice, Tight End Apprentice. It just saves me so much AP there. So definitely, in my opinion, it is worth it to do. Uh, and also cheaper, Gunslinger, which now the Gunslinger on Gannon is actually three. But I might think, I think it's four now. So it actually went up by one. So it's actually four AP. Just for Gunslinger, I might think that's a lot. And also when I use a quarterback like Vic, I tend to scramble too much. Now, you guys can see we have got Lance, Randy Moss, and Deion Sanders in wide receivers 1, 2, 3. Now, I'm actually starting Lance over Tyreek Hill because I'm a Cowboys theme team. He has the same speed, same excel as Tyreek Hill. I have run 25 out of 50 Cowboys, so he gets plus 1 speed, plus 1 excel. So, he's same speed, same excel as Tyreek, but... He's actually got better catch traffic and everything, so that's why I run him. Now, I know I could upgrade the offensive line, but I'm waiting for Team of the Year. Team of the Year is probably going to come out in like two and a half weeks to three weeks. And if you guys didn't know what Team of the Year, usually we get like 95 plus overall offensive linemen. So I fully expect us to get like a 95 overall left tackle, left guard, center. So that's what I'm going to upgrade like that entire side of the offensive line. I know there's better players I can pick up right now, but they've actually been playing pretty good. Haven't really noticed a big issue, and there's going to be a lot better offensive linemen pretty soon. And then tight end, we have Taysom Hill, George Kittle, and Jonu Smith. Three just monsters. Then, of course, Barry Sanders are running back still. I'm not picking up Kamara or Bo Jackson because I think we're going to get Barry Sanders upgrade maybe this week with a 50. So we'll see if we do, but now let's go over the abilities that I'm rocking out on offense. Now, I will say... These may change, okay? I messed around with them for a bit, and I wanted to see exactly what I could do. So as of right now, my X factors are still Rich Gannon, Randy Moss, and Barry Sanders. Now, in terms of the abilities, I don't know if these are going to stay the same way. They're definitely going to stay the same on Rich Gannon, though. I'm still going to use Gunslinger, still going to use Howard Master. So that's 5 AP because Gunslinger is actually up, but AP limit went up to 12, so... We still have like one extra AP than what we had before. So with that extra AP, I made some changes and also just in general, I made some changes to the team. So I decided to throw post up on Larry Allen. For those of you guys that don't know, when I do running back gameplays, I tend to run post up on both my left guard and my right guard. So they are dominant when engaged in double team blocks. Now that comes with a run game and also when passing the ball. So that's really good, honestly. Like if you use post up, you will notice it works pretty dang well most people don't really send five at you they mostly send four some people send you know three people at you so if that's the case there's like no pressure that ever gets in so i actually really like to run post up uh, of course i do use edge protector on both of my offensive tackles so left tackle right tackle that's not going to get changed uh they're still going to have that also still going to run route technician on Deion sanders and as i said i'm currently running post up on both my left guard and my right guard however this may change. Now, you guys will notice I no longer am using Threat Detector on Kevin Mawai because that actually went up to 3 AP. That's a lot of AP for just Threat Detector, right? So I decided to take that off, 
and I'm actually trying out Jukebox. Now, for those of you guys that didn't know, with the new ability like changes, Jukebox is now only 1 AP for elusive back. So on Barry Sanders, it's 1 AP. Now also he does have evasive at 2 AP, but I don't really spin much, so I'd rather just go with the Jukebox one. But there is one thing that I wanted to ask you guys about and want to know if you think I should do it or not. So I don't really know if it's that needed. I guess it would really only come down to if I decided to become more of a run heavy offense, which I'm, I'm really more of a pass heavy type of guy. But I was really thinking about throwing on recuperation on a Barry Sanders. So, so they recover from fatigue at an increased rate. Now I don't know how much quicker it is. But if you run the ball a couple times with Barry Sanders or any running back, obviously they get pretty tired. This is going to be pretty big when it comes to doing game plays. I'll tell you that for sure when it comes to running backs. That's going to be really nice. I was really thinking about throwing it on Barry Sanders here and having jukebox and recuperation and then taking off like one post up from the offensive line. But I feel like this is probably what I'm going to be running. Now, also what I could do is I could take off post up from both Larry Allen and also Steve Hutchinson, and I could add route technician to Lance Allworth because that would be 2 AP on him. But I really feel like this is probably the move for my offense. I'm going to try out Jukebox. If Jukebox doesn't really end up making much of a difference for me, if I don't really see too big of a change, I'll probably end up taking that off and maybe taking post up off of Larry Allen and probably throwing route technician on Lance. Unfortunately, on Randy Moss, because he's a D3 wide receiver, it is 3 AP for route technician, which route technician does help get some separation on certain routes. So uh, I do run that on Dion, but I don't have enough AP to run on Moss. I think this is probably what I'm going to be using for now. Now on the defense side of the ball, again, just going to do a quick rundown of the team. You guys can see we do have a 99 overall Rod, 99 overall Dion, and 98 Charles Woodson. Uh, we have Aaron Donald at right end. We have Michael Strahan at left end. And then you guys see Derek Thomas at left side linebacker because I don't really feel like the need to pick up 10 Hendricks there. I like Derek Thomas. He plays good. d -Ware, stud. Absolute stud. My best pass rush on the team. Uh, I have Sean Taylor and Eddie Jackson. Both actually are safeties for me. Isaiah Simmons and Calvin, these are middle linebackers. So I run big nickel. I sub them in. So uh, Isaiah Simmons and Calvin, they're not actually playing safety for me. They're both playing middle linebackers. Sean Taylor and Eddie, these guys are actually my safeties. And as I said, uh, Isaiah Simmons and Calvin are middle linebackers. I don't use Sam Mills or Ryan Shazier. So absolutely zero need to upgrade them and also my scheme i don't use defensive tackles so again no need to up upgrade from uh, glover and definitely no need to upgrade brian young i can't even tell you the last time that bryant young got in the i don't think he ever ever has seen my field glover very occasional down at the goal line maybe so I, there's absolutely zero need to upgrade dt this team could probably be a 96 overall if i change some things around just went for overall but I don't care to spend coins on a DT that literally will never see the field. Now in terms of abilities though, because as you guys may have noticed before my last lineup update, I loved to run Acrobat on my safeties. I felt like it was really needed. I like to use a couple of double or nothings and obviously I can't do that now. So I decided to change some things around and you guys can see I was really, really trying to figure out what to do. So I decided to actually take double or nothing off of Aaron Donald and I'm just going to run it on... Michael Strahan, just one double or nothing now, so that does hurt me a little bit there, but really, I was thinking, okay, acrobat, 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 I definitely want to keep that in all my corners, but my safety, Sean Taylor and Eddie Jackson, that is 4 AP on just acrobat, I was thinking, okay, what can I do instead of wasting 4 AP on acrobat on two safeties, where can I mix it around the team that's going to be a little bit better, and honestly, I couldn't think of anything at all, like in terms of my scheme, acrobat is the best possible thing for Eddie and also for Sean Taylor, even though it's two AP for the way that I run my defense, I don't use defensive tackles. Uh, my middle linebackers really don't need abilities on them. I could potentially throw lurker, I guess on like Calvin, because I believe he does get lurker. I could throw lurker onto him and take off like acrobat on Eddie Jackson, but I like to have Sean Taylor over the top and I like to have Eddie either playing in a purple or in the flats. So I could put flat zone KO on him, which is only one AP, but then where do I throw that extra one AP at? I don't really have anywhere that I would like to do unless I take an acrobat off somebody else. So to me, I think it's worth it to keep both acrobats on Eddie Jackson and also Sean Taylor. But as I said, I could take it off of maybe, I guess, Eddie, probably take it off Eddie Jackson, and I could throw Lurker onto Calvin Johnson, which would allow me to get like some crazy, crazy user picks. 
But I think for now, these are probably the abilities that are gonna be running on defense and also on offense. And then of course, special teams you guys can see, Janikowski, Shane Leckler, that didn't change at all still, you know, focus kicker on Janikowski. So with that being said, guys, that's what I'm doing now. That's my lineup. Those are my abilities that I'll be rocking out with for now. Let me know down below. Your guys' team has changed. I'm sure a lot of you guys had to change things up completely. Uh, there are some new abilities in the game. Check out this morning's video if you want to see the, all the new abilities, all the changes to the ability points as well. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video though. And if you did, make sure to drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.